Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a little in a somewhat in depth look at the new Marvel Heroes Founder Program. Uh, the Marvel Heroes right now is still in closed beta, and uh, I can tell you now I I am in closed beta now, but you will not see any videos from me whatsoever until either open beta opens up or I bribe Stephen Reed with enough coffee. Mail it from the East Coast so he can get it in the West Coast and really just drown him in enough coffee where he's like, come on, Trex, come join me in my Britishness. It was a joke, Stephen. Please don't be mad at me. But this is the new founder, uh, the founders program that they have started. It just released uh, on Wednesday as I'm recording this. So hopefully I'll get this out on Thursday. Now. <coughs> I am still a little bit under the weather, so if I do cough, I do apologize. I'm going to try my best to be as professional as, a po as possible. But I wanted, my, I wanted to come out and give this information to you because I've been drooling over this all day because, because I'm the Marvel fanboy. I've, I mean, I got Fantastic Four issue number three from Marvel now in front of me and X-Men Legacy number four that I have to read. So I'm about to just go nerd it up before bedtime. But anyways, let's take a look at the Founders programs, all right? So first up, we have the Starter Pack, then we have the Premium Pack, and then we have the Ultimate Pack. Now, and the Starter Pack runs at $19.99, the Premium Pack runs at $59.99, and the Ultimate is $199.99. So, <coughs> excuse me. Seriously, I'm going to try my best not to cough as much. So let's take a look and see, before we go into the individual packs, let's look at the broad, the broad spectrum of it, okay? First, we have the starter packs, all right? They come with one hero and two costumes. You get the in-game currency of $10. The in-game currency is so you can buy other heroes or other costumes for, for the heroes, okay? Uh, the bonus currency is $10, so you get an extra $10. Bucks, so you're looking at $20 right there. You get the early access of two days before Marvel Heroes goes live. Now, you don't get any exclusive costumes or an exclusive enhanced costume. The enhanced costumes in the game are pretty much just aesthetic stuff. Uh, the only enhanced costume that they have right now, I believe, are, uh, are Pirate Deadpool and Symbiote Spider-Man. The Symbiote Spider-Man is what you see over here in the Ultimate Pack, that guy. We'll talk about him in a little bit once we get there. You'll get one hour of XP boost. You'll get two of them. And then you'll get two item find boosts, pretty much. Uh, as far as I can tell from the item find boost, that's just to increase your ability to find items that drop. That's the, that's the, that's the best way I'm going to put it. Um, for the premium packs, you're going to get four heroes, and you're going to get eight costumes. Okay? So you'll pretty much get two costumes for each hero. That's how math works, folks. Uh, your in-game currency is going to be $30, and you'll get a bonus currency of $30. So you're looking at $60 right there. Or, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. I think the bonus currency is... I want to say the bonus currency is the in-game currency, but I have to... You'll, you'll I have to really tr double-check the FAQ in the forums just to make sure. But, anyways, moving on. Your early access, you'll get four days. Now, you don't get any exclu no exclusive costumes or enhanced costumes, and you'll get six one-hour XP, XP boosts, and then six item find boosts, okay? And now the biggie, the ultimate pack, the big $200 shebang. You'll get all the heroes. You'll get all the costumes. You'll get a $50 of in-game currency and a bonus currency at $50. You'll have seven days a week a week of early access of the game and you'll get three exclusive con costumes and then one enhanced costume and then you'll get a permanent xp boost and a permanent item find boost both of them five percent <coughs> now you're probably asking yourself it's still two hundred dollars you have to shell on a free-to-play game well it unlocks all the costumes and all the heroes now there are going to be there are over 22 heroes. I think there's actually exactly 22 in the starter pack, and also the uh, the some of the uh, some of the heroes that you have in 
the starter as well. When you start the game, you'll have a select few, like I think I saw Captain America and Storm and all them. You'll have a, a select few from them, but then you'll also have the ones that you can get from the starter packs and from all these other packs as well. Now, most of these heroes you'll be able to find just playing the game. Just playing the game straight through the story, you'll be able to get it right there. You'll They'll drop from bosses, you'll get them randomly through different things in the game. Okay, so you'll get that. Or you can go over to their marketplace use the, and use the in-game currency and just buy the heroes and costumes there. Now, you can also create the costumes in the game as well. So all of the stuff, all the heroes and the costumes are attainable. They are attainable in-game. You don't have to go to the marketplace. Now, there will be some heroes and there will be some costumes that you have to go to the marketplace if you want to get them. But just respect that, okay? Just understand that. There's an either or here. Welcome to free to play. So let's take a look and see what the 16 starter packs are, because there are 16 of those bad boys. <coughs> the 16 heroes in the starter pack that are 19.99 each: Black Panther, Black Widow, Cable, Captain America, Colossus, Cyclops, Hulk, Human Torch, Iron Man, Jean Grey. Miss Marvel, Punisher, Rocket Raccoon, Spider-Man, Thor, and Wolverine. Those are all of the starter packs. Now, a little something from the FAQ as well. Now, you can only buy one pack per account. Okay? So, say that I bought Iron Man starter pack. All right? I can't buy Iron Man starter pack again. That's just copying the same character in the same costume. But, I can buy an Iron Man... And a Jean Grey. I can buy all 16 of these starter packs. Now, as far as I know, these packs from the Founder program are only going to be available before launch. But, again, that's that's me guessing. That's not 100% assurance. So keep that in mind. But, again, you can buy all the starter packs here. If you buy all 16 starter packs, you are looking... That's been in $319.84. That's right. I did the math. That's right. $19.99 times 16. $319. Huh? That $200 is looking pretty nice, isn't it, folks? Isn't it? Now, I'm running, I'm not going to take a look at all of the characters, but I'm going to take a look at... Let me look at Cyclops. Because he's one of my guys. Actually, I don't want to look at Cyclops. I just remembered who I want to take a look at. I honestly did. I want to look at Colossus, because Colossus has something that I'm really excited about, okay? Let's look at this. <coughs> this is what you get in the pack, okay? You get Colossus. That's your hero. You, I buy. I spend $19.99. I buy Colossus. He's the hero I'm going to start off with playing the game, all right? He's going to be the level one I'm going to start off with. I'm already going to get two, access to two of his costumes. I'm going to get the costume for his modern look that you see right here. His other costume is the Colossus Phoenix Force costume that was over there, but that was a costume that he wore when he took when he took over the Phoenix Force in A versus X. And I will show you that picture that picture right there. We'll show it in just a second. Uh, and like, and here right here, it says $10 in-game currency, purchase additional items in the in-game store, and then a $10 limited time bonus in-game currency. So yeah, 20 bucks, 60 bucks, $100 for each of these packs, okay? That's, that's how you're going to look at it here. And then, of course, you know everything else, and you'll also get the armored forum title. So you'll get the, and your, when you go into the forums, you'll get a little armored. You can have that as your forum title, that's pretty neat. Let's look at this costumes here. When you click on the costumes on the website, it will give you history on the costume. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, you can see right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Right there, that's what the costume of the Phoenix Forest Colossus looks like. Bad ass. I, I want that. A, A versus X was one of my favorite X-Men series, and it it blew my mind. The even the ending that blew my mind. Every, uh, sorry, going complete nerd here. All right, closing it. 
You can also even see the current, uh, the modern costume as well. This is what he wore in New and. Uh, the comet seems to be an uncanny X-Men number 500 that came out in September 2008. Look, you get comic book knowledge. Why, why aren't you going to go pick up these comics, folks? It's amazing. All right, but that's Colossus. Let us go back. I'm trying to go back here. Okay. There. Don't ask why I'm doing it. Don't ask. All right, um, I will take a look at one more for you guys as well. Let's take a look at Spider-Man, fan favorite. Spider-Man, you'll get Spider-Man as your character. You'll get the Spider-Man modern costume and then the Spider-Man Future Foundation costume. I like the Future Foundation. So, And then you'll get the Webhead, uh, the Webhead forum title. So each one comes with its own forum title. Let's look at Jean Grey. Phoenix Powered. And this one comes with the, the Jean Grey Phoenix, the normal one, and then the Jean Grey Black Queen when she got taken over to the Hellfires Club. But again, these are all the 16 starter packs that you can get. Go, uh, I'll, The link's in the description below. Definitely take a look at all of these packs because you might want to choose. If I don't pick up the Ultimate Pack, I'm at least going to probably consider getting, the, getting some of these... Uh, starter packs because they seem pretty rad so those are the starters those are the 16 starter packs let's take a look at the seven premium packs let's see what these bad boys have so these packs here we have the avengers assemble deadpool yeah he gets his own freaking pack believe it or not the marvel classic the marvel knights the marvel now uncanny x-men and x-force because I am a huge nerd. I'm going to go look at the Marvel Now pack. Now, let me go ahead and say this now. Each pack is $59.99. To, if you want to buy all seven of these packs, it would be $419.93. And by the way, this is all in U.S. currency. I don't know about EU. I'm so sorry. I fail you. I knew. I know I do, and I apologize. But anyways, these are all the costumes coming into play for the Marvel Now. <coughs> now, in this Marvel Now pack, it comes with Jean, uh, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Thor, and Rocket Raccoon. Don't laugh about Rocket Raccoon. Just accept it. Now, the eight costumes include the Marvel Now Jean Grey, the Marvel Now Cyclops, Marvel Now Thor, and Marvel Now Rocket Raccoon. And then you'll get the Cutting Edge forum title and avatar excuse me and avatar i'm not really sure what the avatar is but can't wait to see it but here are all the pictures okay these are these are what the costumes look like cyclops pretty much basic actually this is his this is the pretty much this what's where i'm looking for here modern astonishing costume this is the astonishing costume okay astonishing this is his Uncanny, this is the Marvel Now coming from Uncanny X-Men number one coming out in February. I have to wait till February, so everyone else has to too. Then, of course, you have a Jean, uh, Jean Grey Modern. And then you have her Marvel Now, because she went back, storyline, she went back in time. Or they went back in time to grab her, so this is her technically original costume. You got the Rocket Raccoon, and then his Marvel Now Rocket Raccoon costume. And then Thor, and then his... Marvel Now costume Thor. So, that gives you a look at what the costumes are going to look like. I will take a look at one more for you. If it would work for me. Um, let's take a look at... You know what, just for the hell of it. We're going to look at Deadpool. Yeah, that's right, Deadpool gets his own. Okay? You get Deadpool. That's your character. The enhanced... Deadpool is the this guy right here, the pirate Deadpool. Now, this is where the enhance comes in. This costume will add a variety of additional cosmetic enhancements, which may which may include any uh, I'm sorry include unique voiceovers, enhanced visual effects, or extra animations, and sometimes mo and sometimes more. Yeah, sometimes more. So there you go. 
That's the other one. The other one is the Spider-Man symbiote suit. So this is our normal Deadpool, Pirate Deadpool, Sheriff Deadpool, Deadpool unmasked. He has the mask off. Deadpool from X-Force, and then Deadpool from X-Men. I actually don't even know which costume. Or costume looks weird, doesn't it? <coughs> oh, I remember this one. Yeah, this came out in 2009. After Cyclops rejects Deadpool's request to join the X-Men, Deadpool reveals that he has his own plans to be accepted onto the team. The plan of Deadpool's also included his own costume. Go, Deadpool! Go, Deadpool. And your form title and avatar, all the Deadpools. That's that's cute. That's really cute. Alright, moving on. Deadpool makes me laugh. Alright, seriously, I can't even get away from this, can I? There you go. Alright. And that's... These are the premium packs, right? So pretty much you get four heroes, and then you'll get two costumes each for these heroes. Pretty nice. I will have to say pretty nice. Now, again, let's take a look at the ultimate pack, the $200, which, if you're going to buy all the all those little starter packs, that's $319. It's not going to happen. Just go ahead and buy the ultimate pack for $200. But let's look and see what all this is, all right? Now, this comes with over 22 heroes. There are right now 22 exact heroes right now. There are exactly 22 heroes that I'm about, that I'm about to show you. If you. Scroll down, you'll see them all. They, I mean, you're, we're missing Nova, Squirrel Girl, Emma Frost. We're missing more. That's because that they're putting the final touches on them, putting the little... Put, drawing them correctly and making sure they're going to be perfect for in-game. So when they are released, for uh, when they release them on either Facebook or on Twitter, they'll update the listing and show that, yeah, the Ultimate Pack will include these characters. And also any other pack that they decide to start them, start them up in. But all right. You get all the heroes and costumes available at launch. And it also includes a, over 100 alternate costumes at launch. So if you get the Ultimate Pack, you're pretty much set. For whatever they have planned at launch. Uh, uh, they got the three exclusive costumes. Iron Man 3 movie armor. Wolverine Weapon X. And Maestro Hulk. That's Maestro Hulk with the beard. Iron Man 3 movie armor. And then Weapon X Wolverine. Because he's... Yeah, he looks like Weapon X. Yeah. And then you get the enhanced costume of the Spider-Man symbiote. And again, the enhanced costume only really changes the voice over unique animations and all that stuff. And let's see here. Anything else I'm looking at? Yeah, you also get your choice of True Believer forum title and avatar or any other Founders Program forum title or, or avatar. So you can get the True Believer... Or you can choose the ones from before. I'm not sure if it'll like include all of them that you can just like switch from, or it's just like a one-time deal. I'm not sure. And you'll also be listed in the Marvel Heroes game credits. I don't know who reads the credits, but the people who do read the credits, your name could be on there that those people read. Interesting. And here are all your characters, folks. All of them. And I'm going to start from the listing because I know them all because I'm not nerd. Black Panther, Black Widow, Cable, Captain America, Colossus, Cyclops, Daredevil, Deadpool, Hawkeye, Hulk, that's Maestro Hulk, that's the costume there, Human Torch, that's the Iron Man 3 movie armor there, Jean Grey, Miss Marvel, Punisher, Rocket Raccoon, Scarlet Witch, Spider-Man, that's the symbiote suit, Storm, Thing, Thor, and Wolverine, that's the neat little Weapon X Wolverine. So, if you're also pondering about the costumes, like all of them, I think... I know Deadpool has the most because he has the six alternate costumes. Hell, it's Deadpool. But Iron Man has costumes as well. And this is Iron Man's. When you get the ultimate pack... Wow, that's... Can't even hardly even see them, huh? Yeah, you'll get all six of these in the ultimate pack. All six of these costumes. The Iron Man 3 armor. That's exclusive to the ultimate pack. You got the Extremist armor. The Avengers movie armor. The Silver Centurion costume, that's way back when. 
the classic costume, that's way back when, and then the stealth costume. So you get all these characters and their specific armor. How sweet is that? Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, I know. But again, it's really sometimes hard to choose what kind of game you really want to put this kind of money into when you haven't seen you haven't seen the gameplay that much. Now, you can of course go over to marvelheroes.com, take a look at their website, see all the gameplay footage that they have and a, a bunch of interviews coming from Marvel and also other gaming venues. Cross my fingers I get to get to, I get to be one of them, but you never know. I I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and bribe Stephen Reed like I said. But definitely take a look at the Founders Pack or the Founders program. Uh, you can visit their FAQ as well. It's right here in this little link. Uh, if you have any questions, if you have any questions and you're on Twitter, be sure to message uh, at Rockjaw. That's Stephen Reed. He is the community manager. Or you can just uh, you can tweet over at MMM Society. That's Marvel. That's the Marvel Heroes uh, Twitter feed. So. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. I'm sorry if it was kind of long and all the coughing, but I hope it gave in a little bit of light on what to expect from these founder programs. <coughs> Excuse me. From these founder packs. And again, if you're going to buy all 16 of the star packs, might as well just go ahead and drop the ultimate pack. Okay? So these are all, I believe, going to last until... Oh, I actually forgot to mention this as well. The ultimate pack. The ultimate pack actually grants you immediate beta access. Yeah, that's right. Immediate beta access. Now, the immediate beta... <coughs> Excuse me. The immediate beta access, this is available only for the first 2,500 people to buy this. I don't think people have done that yet. Let me actually check there. Yeah, okay, there it is. Limited time ultimate pack exclusive bonus. First 2,500 purchases will receive guaranteed beta access. So, go, go to town, people. Go to town. And thank you all for watching, and be sure to stay tuned to the channel, because when Marvel Heroes, when I have the chance to do videos for Marvel Heroes, I will definitely be showing you guys exactly what the game looks like and my thoughts on it as well. So, thank you all for watching. I'm going to try and go take some medicine and get back to get back to some sleep or something. But... I'll, I'm going to get back to doing videos on a regular basis. I was hoping this week, but my throat is definitely causing more pain than it should. So, follow me on Twitter at this is Trex, or follow me on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Trexlight. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I keep everyone up to date on my illness and all the fun times that I do as well. So be sure to stay tuned on that for more up-to-date information. So thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time.